Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can install and use Ultimate Errands for Elementor plugin. This plugin has free as well as premium version. Here you can see that the free version of this plugin has been installed on more than 2 million plus WordPress websites. So that means this is one of the best add-ons plugin for Elementor. This plugin was formerly known as Elementor header and footer builder using which we were able to create header and footer section in Elementor website for free. Now it is known as ultimate add-ons for Elementor and apart from only header and footer builder you can also use many different widgets in Elementor. There are more than 50 plus widgets and extensions. You can also use 100 plus website templates, 200 plus section blogs so i'll start with the free version of the plugin and later i'll install the premium version of the plugin and i'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version the premium version of this plugin will cost you around 59 dollars per year for a single website there is an offer going on in which you will get this plugin at a discounted price if you want you can also go for essential toolkit which is a combination of multiple premium plugins in which you will get ultimate add-ons for Elementor Pro plugin. You will also get access to Astra Pro plugin, premium starter templates, Spectra Pro plugin and ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder also. So it is a combination of multiple premium plugins and the essential toolkit will cost you around $99 and there is an offer going on in which you will get this essential toolkit at $60.88. If you want to buy any one of these plugins, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. I'll also give you 25% discount coupon code for Essential Toolkit in the description box. So let's see how we can install and use the free as well as premium Ultimate Announce for Elementor plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And this is an Elementor website. On this website, I'm using Hello Elementor theme. If I go to plugins, I have installed the Elementor basic plugin which is the free version of the plugin and this is how the website looks. This is the home page of the website in which you will see the header section which is just the site title and this is the footer section which is just the copyright section. I do not have anything on this demo website. Now we are going to install the free version of the plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin and here search for ultimate add-ons for Elementor. This is the plugin, 2 million plus active installations. Click on install now and click on activate. All right, so it is a small setup wizard. Let's click on get started. And this is the list of widgets which are available. You will see some free widgets are available and some widgets are available for the pro version. We will go through all the widgets later. Let's go to continue setup and it says you're all set up, go to dashboard. Now we're on the dashboard of the ultimate Allons plugin and it shows which widgets are enabled. At the top, you will see header and footer builder. Now using the free version of this plugin, you can also create header and footer section for the Elementor website. If you're using free Elementor plugin, then there is no option to create header and footer sections in the free version. If I go to templates and if I go to theme builder, this is where you can create header, footer, single post, archive, product, product archive and 404 page layouts in Elementor. However, this theme builder feature is not available in the free version. In order to create header and footer section in Elementor, you will need Elementor Pro plugin. However, using the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin, you can create free header and footer sections. Here we are on the header and footer builder. If I want to create a new header, let's click on add new and let's name it as header and you will see an option what do you want to create header before footer footer or custom block i can select header and after that you will see display on where do you want to show this header entire website all singular all archive so you can create multiple headers using the plugin and you can show them on different sections of your website for example you can create a different header section for home page you can create a different header section for the e-commerce or the shop page on your website. Then we have user roles. Whom do you want to show this header and footer section? Once you are ready, you can create header and using edit with Elementor, you can add different widgets in the header section. 
Similarly, you can create footer section. I can simply select footer and create a footer for the website. We will go through header and footer builder later. In the upcoming videos, I'll show you how you can create header and footer using ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. Next to header and footer builder, you will see widgets. Let's go to widgets. And you will see a list of all the widgets which are available. The ones which are enabled are for the free version and these are the pro version widgets. So in order to use all these widgets, you will need pro version. In the free version, you will get post info, info card, site logo, navigation menu, scroll to top, site title, site tagline, search, page title, retina logo, cart and copyright. Next to that, we have templates, design your website in minutes, build your website faster using our pre-built templates. If you click on it, it is going to install a starter template plugin. You will see the starter template plugin. If I close it, and if I go to plugins, you will see a new plugin has been installed. That is a starter template. So let's go back to ultimate announce dashboard and go to templates again. Now using the starter templates plugin, you can use pre-designed templates to create a website. Let's go to settings. These are the settings of this website license key. If you upgrade, you can enter the license key and activate the pro version. Then we have version control and usage tracking. All right. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. Now let's go to pages and we will see which widgets are available. I have one home page here. So I'll go to home page and let's click on edit with Elementor. Let's close this one. So we are on the home page and in the left hand panel, you will see different widgets. These are the basic Elementor widgets, container grid. Let's minimize this one. Then we have basic Elementor widgets, which are available in the free version. In the free version of the Elementor plugin, heading, image, text, editor, video, button. Then we have Elementor Pro widgets. These are the widgets in Elementor Pro plugin. Then we have general widgets link in bio site single woocommerce these are the pro version widgets and at the bottom you will see ultimate add-ons section where you will see the free widgets which are available in this plugin a retina logo navigation menu site title site tagline page title search post info info card here you will see the navigation menu widget if you are creating header section for the website then you will need menu bar at the top in the header section which will show all the menu items of the website if I search for the menu widget, you will see the Elementor also has navigation menu option. However, that is not available in the free Elementor plugin. You will need Elementor Pro for that. And you will see this navigation menu, which is a part of ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. So these are the widgets you can use in the free version and using the free version of ultimate allowance for elementor you can create header and the footer section in the elementor website that is the main advantage of using the free version of the plugin now i do have the pro version of this plugin installed on another demo website so let's go to that website and here i have the pro version of the plugin installed and if i go to widgets you will see all these widgets are available so apart from free widgets, I can use all these pro widgets in Elementor. You will see price box, price list, off canvas. If you want to see what is off canvas, you can click on a view demo and it will show the demo of that particular widget. You will see the available options, button off canvas, icon off canvas, custom class, custom ID. Let's go back. You will see table of contents, a team manager, a video, a video gallery is also available. Timeline is also available. Let's view the demo of timeline. Uh, this is how the timeline will look. Of course, there will be a multiple layouts for the timeline also. This is the post timeline. This is the content timeline, also post timeline. This is another layout for the timeline. This is the post timeline. Let's view the demo of multi buttons. You will see multi buttons like this. So there are many advanced widgets which you can use on your Elementor website using the ultimate announce for Elementor Pro plugin. So in the upcoming videos, I'll show you how you can create header and footer section in Elementor website using the free version of the ultimate announce for Elementor plugin. If you want to buy the pro version of the plugin, I'll give you the links in the description box. You can use my link. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. 
and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.